maximize your relationship with your co-players. My friends, it's you, and I'm so happy it is. Welcome to How to Be a Better RPG Player on Saving Throw Show. I'm Amy Vorpal, and I've got six tips that you can use to build the best possible relationships with the other folks around your table. You ready? I am. First up, some technical stuff. Show up. Show up on time. Remember tools like your dice and your character sheet. Dress and act like you wanna be there. Bare bones, it's a group project and your buds are relying on you, so make the most of it. Communicate. Communicate with the other players outside of the game if you want. In the last episode, I mentioned key thoughts to share with your GM, but you can also plan stuff with your party members like coinciding backstories, important moments, cool ways to make your combat mechanics work together, and also, if you can keep it chill and you feel it's important, also any concerns. Support, support, support. Support your fellow players in game. Let them have their big moments. If someone's trying a cool mechanic that they have or even is trying to do something that metagaming will tell you they'll fail at, let them do it. So what if another character is better built for the task? Failure causes conflict and interest and consequently adventure. Characters who like each other. Make your character like the other player characters. There can be shades of gray here, but you will ultimately be working together, so a tolerant relationship is preferable. Even if your character is evil and everyone else is good, you're going to have to figure out a way to get along. If your character can't like another PC, there should be a good story reason why they can't. There should also be a good story reason why they do tolerate the other PC. This topic continued. Okay, fine, if I'm still painting you into a corner, just make sure your character has a specific relationship with the other PCs, and at the very least, an opinion about them. Also, if the opinion is negative, have a super great justification, and be open to your character changing her mind as the story progresses. Starting from a positive perspective will get the story going more quickly and still leave plenty of room for conflict, so don't worry about it. Rules help. Unless a player asks you for help with a rule or mechanic, don't jump in. No need to grab their character sheet or book to try to solve it for them. Assume they're smart and they'll figure it out. Plus, the process of figuring it out will help them next time. And now it's time for a player shout out. I'd like to highlight a player who always seems to put their table mates first. Check out Eric Reichert on the show Iron Keep Chronicles. You can find them on social media at mostly shit. Thanks again for watching. I'd love to know what you think. What else can you do to maximize the relationship with your co-players? Tell us in the comments below. And as always, feel free to ask questions. I'll answer. Remember to like, subscribe, and smack the little bell for notifications when we drop new videos. We've got one more video to go. So until then, bye.